Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book on record to play for you. Today's book is Star Ray Shortcake Meet the Spelling Bee from 1981. So let's get started. This is your Strawberry Shortcake read-along book. Every time you hear this chime, it means that you are to turn the page in your storybook. Now we are ready to begin our adventure into the land of fun. Open your book, and we will start the story of Strawberry Shortcake and the Spelling Bee. Remember, when you hear the chime, turn the page. It was a bright, summery day in Strawberry Land. The sun smiled from the blue sky, making all the flowers bloom with their brightly colored blossoms. Very early in the morning, Strawberry Shortcake was out in her garden, watering her strawberry plants. Why, the berries on my bushes are so big. Aren't they delicious looking? She thought to herself. Suddenly, she heard the buzzing of her friend, the ladybug, who seemed to be answering her thoughts. Good morning, lucky bug, she said. The ladybug flew from leaf to leaf. She too was enjoying the beautiful day and the lovely strawberries. Strawberry had just finished watering the berry plants when she saw her friend, Orange Blossom running up the lane. Orange Blossom was waving and calling to her. Strawberry Shortcake, I have something to tell you, and it's very important. Strawberry ran to the gate to meet her little friend. What is wrong, Orange Blossom? Asked Strawberry Shortcake. Nothing is wrong. I have something to show you. And you never believe it. Orange Blossom took her by the hand, and the two little girls began to run down the lane. What do you want to show me, Orange Blossom? Asked Strawberry. Wait till you see it for yourself. Strawberry Shortcake was beginning to get a little curious. We're running in the direction of school, but there is no school today, said Strawberry. Orange Blossom nodded her head and said, I know. Just wait till you see what I want to show you. Here we are. Now, look over there on that sunflower. Tell me what you think. Strawberry Shortcake ran over to the sunflower and looked at its golden petals. Then she saw it. She turned to Orange Blossom and said, But it's only a little bee. There are a lot of them all over Strawberry Land. What is so unusual about this one? Suddenly, the strangest thing happened. The little bee flew off the sunflower, landed on Strawberry Shortcake's nose, and spoke to her. He said, I am not an ordinary bee, my dear. Strawberry blinked her eyes and exclaimed, You can talk! The bee said, I can. I am a very educated bee. I have gone to school. Orange Blossom tiptoed over to them and said to the bee, We go to school too. The bee flew over and landed on Orange Blossom's bonnet. I happen to be a spelling bee. I am pleased to be visiting your wonderful strawberry land. Strawberry could not believe her ears. A spelling bee? Why are you called a spelling bee? The bee answered, Because I know how to spell. Do you? Orange Blossom said, We started spelling in school. Strawberry Shortcake added, I love to spell. The spelling bee began to buzz from flower to flower. Spelling is very important. You must know how to spell. 
and it can be lots of fun to learn. The two girls ran from flower to flower, following the spelly bee as he flew along. Idea, said the spelling bee. Get all your friends together and we'll have fun learning how to spell some important words. Would you like to do that? Strawberry Shortcake thought it was a wonderful idea. I'll run and get all my friends and we'll meet you in the valley near the strawberry stream in ten minutes. I'll be waiting. Buzz the spelling bee. Orange Blossom and Strawberry Shortcake ran all over Strawberry Land, telling all their friends to meet them in the valley. Soon, everybody who was anybody in Strawberry Land was there. Blueberry Muffin, Raspberry Tart, Huckleberry Pie and his dog Cupcake, and Plum Pudding wondered why Strawberry Shortcake had asked them to come. Said Blueberry Muffin. Huckleberry Pie said, I don't know, but it must be very, very important for Strawberry to call us here. Strawberry Shortcake stepped forward and said to her friends, I would like you to meet a special friend who is visiting Strawberry Land today. It's the spelling bee. The bee flew from person to person, saying hello to all of them. Strawberry said, The spelling bee is a very good speller, and he wants to teach us how to spell a few important words. The spelling bee landed on the branch of a large oak tree and said, Spelling can be fun. Blueberry Muffin said, Well, Mr. Bee, we're all in. Teach us how to spell. Huckleberry Pie added, I like spelling. This will be fun. The spelling bee said in a very clear voice, We're going to learn how to spell some easy but important words. Look around the valley here, and we'll learn to spell the things you see. The friends looked around, and then Huckleberry Pie raised his hand and asked, Can you tell us how to spell green, black in the grass, and the leaves? The spelling bee flew over and landed on Huckleberry's nose. He said, I can. You spell green with a G, and an R, and an E, E, M. Huckleberry, can you spell green for me now? Asked the spelling bee. Huckleberry repeated the letters the bee had just told him. J R D E A N Green. Very good, said the spelling bee. Then Raspberry Tart asked. Would you tell me how to spell flower? I will. Flower begins with an F, and it is followed by L-O-W-E-R. Now, spell it for me. Raspberry giggled and said, F-L-O-W-E-R. Flower. What fun this is. Blueberry Muffin called out to the bee. Can you teach me how to spell the word blue? It's one of my favorite words. I certainly can. First you take a B, then an L, and a U, and an E. And that's how you spell blue, replied the spelling bee. I can spell it now, said Blueberry. B-L-U-E. Plum 
pudding raised his hand and asked, Mr. B, can you tell me how to spell tree? Of course I can. First, we need a T, an R, and then two E's. T-R-E-E spells tree. So that's that. that. Was all plum pudding could say. Orange Blossom asked the bee how to spell the word sky and the word dog. The bee was very happy to tell her. You spell sky, S-K-Y, and the dog is spelled D-O-G. Strawberry raised her hand. Mr. B, how do you spell strawberry? It's a very important word for me. The bee spelled the word very carefully. S-T-R-A-W-B-E-E-R-R-Y. Strawberry. Strawberry Shortcake said... S-T-R-A-W-B-E-E-R-R-Y. So that was Sarbay Shortcake Meet the Spelling Bee from 1981. So be, so be like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And our next book will be How to Be a Grouch 